For this tutorial, we'll be giving you a quick tour of the Visionscape software's user interface. Visionscape has been designed around quick workflows and ease of use, granting you access to the majority of functionality within two or three clicks at most. And a large part of that is due to the quick to navigate UI layout. When you first start up the software, you'll be presented with the 3D perspective window. Visionscape has been designed for you to be able to work with your scene natively in real time. So the perspective window is where you'll spend most of your time interacting with your scene objects. You can click and drag in this view to orbit your camera, and you can zoom your camera in and out with your mouse wheel. Left clicking any object in this view will select it, allowing you to move it around in the scene and edit its properties. Along the left hand side of the window is the toolbar. The toolbar contains some additional tools for navigating and interacting with the 3D scene. You'll find some of these navigation tools on the nav widget in the lower left hand corner as well, which can be toggled on and off. In the lower left hand corner of the screen, underneath the nav widget, you will see two tabs labeled plan and perspective. These tabs will switch your view back and forth between the 2D plan view and the 3D perspective view. In plan mode, you can interact with your scene in a top-down view similar to most 3D modeling and CAD programs. This lets you take more of a drafting approach to designing your scene elements. You can also bring images in as elements and configure your objects with CAD visuals and symbols. Next, let's take a look at the ribbon. Along the top of the window, you'll find the ribbon tabs. Each of these tabs contains a combination of smart tools, product catalogs, and preference panels in the case of the main tab. This is where you will primarily go to add content to your scene. Finally, take a look at the properties panel on the right hand side of the screen. From this panel, you'll be able to configure the objects in your scene, as well as some parts of the scene itself. The Properties panel is actually divided into three sub-panels, which can be detached and collapsed at will. The first section of the Properties panel contains the Object Properties. In Plan View, this is also where you will set your Plan View display properties. This panel will display context-sensitive controls for the object or tool you have selected. If an object requires a unique configuration tab or panel, you'll find it here. The second section contains the geometry panel. This panel contains controls for positioning and transforming 3D objects in space, as well as precision controls for shape tools. This panel will affect whatever the user has selected at the time. The last panel is the document panel. From here you can set the name of your document and configure the settings for the lot, grid, and unit system. Keep in mind that the Visionscape system will use the design name for both the online and offline copies of your file. This concludes our quick view of the main Visionscape software UI. For more detailed information on the UI, including some of the advanced panels and features, check out our help documentation section for more information.